Hi, my name's Russ, and I'm an intern here at Dickinson College, working for the House Divided Project. And today, I'm going to show you how to create a map using Google. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign in to your Google account, which I've already done. And then you're going to click on Maps. And then you're going to click on My Places and create a new map and we're going to enter a brief title so I'll just call this sample and a description and then uh, make sure that the uh, sharing setting is uh, set as public and then you're going to click done and edit to begin the map we can come up here uh, to the search bar and enter an address or a GPS location um, so for this we're going to enter White House and it's going to take us right to the White House and once we're here we can click save to map and we can choose the map that we want to save it to so uh, we're going to save it to the one we just created and so once we save it then we can come back up to my places and go to our map and so we're right here and we can zoom in then with this zoom icon and if we don't want the place mark to be exactly right here we can click delete and then we can come up to the place mark icon we can click on that and we can uh, move this place mark anywhere that we want so we can move it right here um, if we want to change the place mark icon, we can click on the icon button, and we have a lot of different options. But if we don't like any of these, we can uh, use our own image, and we can click on this button that says add an, add an icon, and then all we need to do is type in the URL of an image that we want to use, and it will appear in my icons. So um, we have that. And then we can also add text. And I've already copied uh, a text. Um, so I'll paste it here. And the text that we use can be original or it can be excerpted from a published source. So what I have is a short excerpt from um, Lincoln's last speech. And we're going to want to add a title as well. So we'll call this Lincoln's last speech and we also have so like I said we have the excerpt and we have the, the citation and we can add links to the text as well so when we do that we're gonna wanna come from uh, from the plain text we're gonna wanna go to rich text we're going to go to the website that we want it to link to copy the URL we come back and we highlight the section that we want to create the hyperlink for and create uh, and click on this link button and then we just need to paste the URL into that click OK and it links to the website we can also add images so we need to go find an image that we want to use so I have this image up here it's the White House and we can't just copy and paste the image into the text box so we need to right click on the image come down click on properties highlight the URL copy it and then we can come back and click on insert image and we paste the URL into this box and then we have the image in our text box and we can also uh, make it so that the text wraps around the image so if we want to do that we need to click on edit HTML and we're going to type in a code for the image and there are different types of codes that we can use but the one we're going to use today is one uh, that 
allows the text to wrap around the image and it's also going to align the image to the right side of the text box. So we type that in and we click on rich text and it's done that for us so we can uh, we can drag the image down to wherever we want and as you can see the text has wrapped around the image so once we're done we click OK we can click save so it saves the map and we can click done and then it's very easy to view our place mark and so once you're done with the map once you've created a lot of place marks it's going to look something like this this is a map that we've created of Lincoln's writings and as you can see we have a, a different image for the place mark and we can use we can draw lines we can draw shapes and that can provide structure to your tour um, it's it's an optional thing but it might enhance your tour um, we we can click on this link button here on the left and that's going to give us a URL and an embed code that we can use if we want to share the uh, the Google map to a, a website or a blog and also on the left we have a list of the place marks and we can order these however we want by clicking on one and dragging it to a different spot and so what we've done for this map is we've ordered these chronologically but for your map you can order them however you want whatever's gonna make sense so uh, this is Google Maps um, hopefully this tutorial was useful and uh, you'll find this very helpful as you create your own projects